Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to the channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a 3D nut. So, first of all, we're going to start off by drawing a polygon. Initially, we're going to change the sides, number of sides from 4 to 6. So, 6 and enter. Doesn't matter where you put the center of your polygon, so let's go there. But we need to make sure it's inscribed in the circle. Now, due to the size, I'm just going to zoom in a bit, because we're working with some lower numbers here. Now the radius of the circle is going to be 20. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from this point across to this point, and you'll see why later on it's going to be a big help. Now we need to draw some circles, so from the center point, radius 10, and another one, radius 20, but we're going to do it circumscribed about the points, so on that one there. Okay, let's change our view by clicking the home button, that's it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude both the inner circle and the polygon. So select them and press enter. The height that we're going to use today is 20. Okay. Now I want to change from a 2D wireframe to realistic. Okay. Up to solid editing tools, we're going to select the solid subtract. So the first thing we do is select the polygon shape, enter, and then select the inner circle, enter, and you can see it's taken it away from the middle of the polygon. Back to extrude. I'm going to extrude the outer circle now. Select and enter, same height, 20. Let's move that there. Now what we want to do is we're going to fillet the corners. So select fillet, we need to change the radius, so R, enter, set it to 3. Select that edge, enter, bottom one, enter. Okay, now it's beginning to take some shape. Back up to your solid editing tools. We're going to go for the one beneath it, which is Solid Intersect. Click on that. First click on the polygon shape, and then click on the outer circle shape, so that effectively selects everything. Enter. Okay. So it's looking more like a nut now. So, if I come up here, now we're going to put the threads on the inside of the nut, and this is where that line is uh, going to come in handy that I've told you about. So back up to the draw panel, you want to pick a helix. Okay. Find the midpoint of that line, because we know it's on the bottom of the shape. Now it's asking us for the base radius, which is 10. Top radius, 10. Number of turns, we're going to change that to... It's currently at 3, let's go... 20. And the height, 20, because that's the height of our nut. Okay. Now we need to draw a little circle over here. Um, it's called radius 0.25. Okay. Let's do a sweep command. Select the circle, press enter. And this is where it gets a bit fiddly, so I'm going to have to go there. Yeah, it might just take a minute um, to render that bit because we've got a lot of lines here. I've got 20 lines, I think. Yep, there we go. But the problem with that is they're the opposite way round, if that makes sense. So we're going to go back to our solid editing tools and we're going to subtract First of all, select the nut, press enter, then press the helix, click select the helix, press enter. And there you have it, a threaded nut. Delete that line that we used. 
So thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for any future videos. Thank you.